Hi, welcome to my video. My name is Linda and today I'm going to share with you how to set up and sync your calendar in three easy steps within Zoom Notes. I cannot stress enough how easy this can be so long as you do this three step process. So let's begin. The first thing you need to do is go to your main menu and um, press the plus button at the top there, then import and go to wherever you've stored it. I've stored my PDF in iCloud. I'm choosing this particular planner as I made this one in Zoom Notes, so I felt it would be helpful. Um, import as digital planner. Now, I have done both that and document, and it's made no difference whatsoever. However, I do feel for today's purposes, it's important that we do it correctly. So you've got your planner. It's all singing, all dancing, and it's working. I'm just going through some clicking now. Now you'll see that it's a little bit fuzzy to begin. That's just the PDF interface connecting and working. So when you go back on yourself and you repress those links and those buttons, it will not do that. It's a one-off process. I'm just highlighting here in pink and sharing with you my calendar day. It's really important that you know how long your day is and from what hours it starts and finishes in preparation when you set up your calendar. So I know I've got a 15 hour day and it starts at seven o'clock. Right, let's get started. Uh, beginning with step one, date your pages. Now we're going to do month first and then we're going to move on to the weeks and the days. So we're going to do this process three times in total, by which time I'm hoping you'll have it all off to pat. Just tap on the page properties on the top right hand side and scroll up until you get to calendar and it, there's a little button that says is a calendar page tap on it um, select the month button as we'll be working on our monthly calendar then move and adjust the date it was it was showing february it defaulted to february but i've changed it now to january we know that my calendar starts at seven o'clock in the morning so we're going to adjust the start time and put 0700 hours and my day length is 15 hours. So I'm going to adjust that as well. This is why I said to you earlier, it's really important that you know this um, because it's really part, it's part of the configuration. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to go to planner options and I'm going to make sure that I select the Monday start because my calendar weekly and my monthly start on a Monday. So my monthly starts on a Monday. There we go. Go back to page properties and select done. Perfect. First step is finished. Then we're ready to add your calendar table. To add the table, we need to use a new layer. It's important that we put it in a layer because we're going to share this with only the monthly pages. We add a layer by clicking on that plus button on the top there and we label our layer. Now I've called mine monthly calendar so that I know it's where I've put my table. You could put monthly table, it's up to you. Tap on the table button and adjust the columns and the rows. Mine is seven across by six down, so my table is seven by six. And then by tapping on the planner and dragging, so it's like a click and drag, you can make your table. Um, I'm sharing with you here how important it is to line up accurately, because if you don't line up the table accurately, your table will be all out of sync it won't work so it's important that you put the time and effort in to line it up once you are happy with your table and you've set it up to your liking we can then tap back onto the table icon scroll up and switch calendar on by doing that the table recognizes that it's a calendar now we've done that we're going to go back to the layers and we're going to lock um, our layer and make number one layer our visible one at the top. So we're just going to make number one current and then go to the three lines at the top, press current to top and it will do that automatically. Just follow the links. So now that we've got our monthly behind our current layer, we can make it invisible. So tap on it because we don't want those black lines to show. So now that we've done all that, we're going to check our events. 
go onto the Z at the top and click on show events. And there they are. Now I've defaulted to um, dots because obviously there's a lot of private information on there and I didn't want to share with you. But you can have a little play with that area. Press the buttons and click, click and um, see how you get on. You know, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Um, now, obviously, they're not lining up. They're in my grey area by the numbers. So to do that, what you need to do is go back to your page properties, scroll down to the bottom and under event area insets, change the top. Now, I started with 10 and I've worked my way back to seven and that seems to have worked really well. I'm happy with that. So there we are. Now, obviously, that's only on January. It won't affect any other month because you have to ask it to affect the other months. Before we copy properties, we need to make a note of page numbers. I can see that my months go from page 14 to page 25. So I'm going to jot that down on a piece of paper so that I don't forget them and I know I'm copying the right numbers over. Then click on the cog at the top left hand side, copy properties and then go to page date properties. This is where you'll put your page numbers in. Now for consecutive numbers, um, pages that go one after the other, you put a dash. For pages that are in different order, you put a comma. So I've put 14 to 25. Then if I scroll through, you'll see that my calendar has come out on all my monthlies. Now that we've done our monthlies, we can move on to our weeklies and our dailies. We're going to follow the exact same steps, one, two and three, and go through exactly the same process. I'm going to put some music on at this stage and just let you scroll through and visualise if you wish to. Obviously, you can go back to the beginning and just repeat exactly the same, but for different page numbers and different tables for your weeklies and dailies. Um, enjoy. I'll see you at the end.
And we've arrived at the end. I hope this video was helpful for you, breaking it into months, weeks and days. Please do go into the Z at the top and have a little play with the event settings. Just tap on those buttons and tap them off to suit your needs. Have fun playing and I hope that you'll come back for another video. Bye!